just want to let everybody know before we begin that this video was inspired by these two comments here so if you enjoyed this video make sure to thank those two users and subscribers of the channel for their brilliant idea i thank you and i hope you enjoyed the video what's up everybody it's Solon. today i want to talk a little bit about custom houses one of the really cool features that crusader kings 3 has that i think integrates really well with the song of ice and fire a game of thrones mod that we have here for them for the game obviously it's fun to play as all of these lords of westeros through different time periods and histories but what if you just want to play as yourself well it's fun to make custom houses but it's sometimes difficult to know where to put them and in this video I'm not only going to show you how to make a custom house and what I usually do for that but I'm also going to show you a few places in each region that I think are pretty good to start off in so starting off down here in Dorne we actually have a really great spot that you can put in your own custom house and that's right next to the hell halt of house Uller. And in game, they are House Lou, which is actually an Elden Ring reference, but there's not a real house here. So if you wanted to, you could, I mean, I know it hurts to cut out Godfrey of House Lou, but he doesn't have a cool sigil. You would have a much cooler sigil. You could cut them out, and this is a perfect place to move in. It's actually a pretty solid area. It's right here in the desert, and if you wanted to, it's not too difficult to take over this duchy to take the Hellholt for yourself and then to maybe further expand your realm. Also, if you needed any more reason to choose the Hellholt, the dragon Meraxes was slain there by a scorpion bolt through the eye during the first Dornish War, which is pretty sick. Moving out of the reach, there's actually a couple different places that you can pick here. Um, I'm gonna, by default, go with one over here in Golden Grove under House Rowan, and that's another Elden Ring reference with the Erd Tree, Long Tress right here. It's just on the border of the Westerlands right here. Another non-canon, non not really anything house i mean it has a sort of standard default sigil and i think it's a really solid spot but i'm also going to show you a couple more so if you come down here down to old town and actually look up here and right near honey Holt, there's a house called house good this is a non-canon house which is not in uh, the lore at all and it's in a pretty solid spot you're close to old town you're right next to the mander if you take one county i believe the greenway which if i'm not mistaken is owned by just one lord you'll have your own port and then a two county hold and you get a duchy right here which I believe starts off the Honeylands as not owned by anybody. So it's a pretty solid place to start off here down in the Reach. And that gives you two options over here in the north and the south to, to start off. The Westerlands also has a ton of options. Um, I'm just going to go with one right here in the middle, and then I'll show you one other one. But Oxcross is another non-canon house that I think is a really good spot to start off because he puts you right in the center, and you're right near Castamere, which is a great county to start off in. The next one I want to talk about is Tarwick over here on this cove, which I love things by the sea. If you've watched any of my videos, then you probably know that. And plus it gives you a good position to take over this duchy for yourself, as this house, Prester, isn't canonically, as far as I'm aware, that strong. So maybe you want to position yourselves to be a little bit stronger than them. Maybe you want to position yourself by the sea and then maybe move south and take the rock, or maybe even just Lannisport and become the new Lords of the Port for the Lords of the Rock. Up here on the Iron Islands, I'm actually going to do a little throwback here, way, way, way back to a series I did for Elder Kings 2, where I started off basically as a single county, or maybe it was two counties on little islands, uh, and that's his house Freeborn, which is again a non-canonical house, which I think has a pretty solid foundation here to take over the Great Wyke. You can slowly work your way around. Obviously, you're going to have to contend with Good Brother, which is a huge house, very strong in the Iron Islands, but... If you work your way north and then maybe just sort of skirt your way around, you could end up taking the whole Great Wyke for yourself and becoming a pretty mighty Iron Lord here. In the Riverlands, I've chosen one that I think is great right by Harrenhal. House Went, uh, as far as I know, if, or as far as I remember in the books at this point currently, not after the first book, I believe it's like the, the most recent book, the last Lord of Wents has died. They're no longer alive, so this house is dead. So maybe you want to claim Harrenhal, and if you add the, uh, a god, I believe it's Cities and Walls mechanics, I think that's the name of the mod, you can actually rebuild, and it'll show you in, in, like, in real time as you're rebuilding it, which is a really, really cool thing to do, a lot of fun, and if you want your own custom house to be the house to finally restore Harrenhal to, to its, you know, former glory, you can, you can't go wrong starting off right here, plus you're in, like, the dead center of the Riverlands, which I think is a great place to be in general. Up here in the Vale, you actually have a really, really great option right here in this little inlet right by Gold Town, which again, another major port that you can eventually work your way over to take over. Of course, you're going to have to contend with the Grafton's, another major house here in the Vale. But this house, Kinnear, is not a canon house. A lot of these houses that have like sort of um, one of these seven gods in their motto, they're generally not real. There's a lot more than the ones I'm showing you. I'm trying to just give you one per region more or less and then if you find others you can obviously change them as you go but this is i think a really good option you have three you have two waterways and you get access eventually if you wanted to you could take over this whole peninsula and you'd have a really solid foothold here in the vale 
Moving down here to the Crownlands, I'm actually gonna show you two different ones. The first one's down here in Maisy Hook, and that's with House Bean. They are not a canon house, although I do think their name is kind of funny, but they start down here on the hook, and you can obviously take over them and then have a strong arm in the narrow sea. Or if you wanna move up here, you have House Bush, which is another non-canon house. Ironic that they're both bees, but this one I think is a little better because you have this crab claw, I think is what it's called, claw point maybe. You could take over the claw isles, perhaps, and I know that they added this Duchy of Dragonstone recently, uh, in one of the more recent updates so maybe you want to integrate yourself and take over this duchy in the future that'd be pretty cool honestly honestly because the north is so big there's so many things to choose from but i'm actually going to go down here to white harbor and again this is another i mean you, there's, you can probably notice a trend here i like to situate myself besides major cities because one it's nice to look at and two it's easier to take them over when you're nearby obviously the manderleys are great people and they're a really strong house here in the north so it'd be kind of difficult but house silverfield is another one that doesn't exist and it could be a very good spot for you to start off as your own house and last but not least we're going to come down here to the stormlands where i have found a nice little island again i really love islands with house stillman which I, somebody correct me if i'm wrong i don't think this one is is canon either i believe tarth owns just this whole island however it could soon be yours because you know, maybe maybe they're not looking to their rear with this beautiful mountain range here covering your view. Maybe you just want to pick off some stuff from the rear. Or perhaps you just want to, you know, you want to play tall and you want to grow this little region to be ridiculously wealthy at the edge of, you know, the edge of the sea right before uh, Essos. Uh, it could be pretty cool, honestly, in the future once Essos is unlockable, but I, who could say when that's going to be? So we've talked a little bit about where to put your custom houses, but we haven't really talked about how to make one. So if you come down here, you'll see create your own ruler. And what you have to do first is you have to select a ruler somewhere on the map. Again, this is where selecting a ruler that maybe doesn't exist, so you're not messing with the lore. I mean, if that matters to you, if you don't really care about the lore, then you can obviously set them up wherever you want. You could erase House Manderley for all you want. You can do it with anybody. You could do it with the Starks. It really doesn't matter. But for my sake, for my example, I'm going to start here with the Silverfields. And I'm going to turn off Iron Man really fast because uh, this that would be crazy. I'm going to create my own ruler. And as you can see, it sort of sets a bunch of defaults here for you. And uh, I'm going to do something really fast and then I'll be right back. I've done a basic setup here where I have named my character. I have named her house. Uh, I have decided to call this house Red Claw. I've made a little sigil here for them. Our blades like claws. I couldn't think of a motto uh, very fast. And then I also customized my lordship, the lordship of White Shore. Although honestly, now that they're named Red Claw, I think we should call the Lordship Red Shore. And it's that easy. I also apparently called it uh, Shite Shore, which is very funny. So the Lordship of Red Shore, the dynasty of, of Red Claw. And then over here, you get the option to customize your character. So you can obviously set their age to be anything you want. I'm going to leave it at about 25. You can set your weight to whatever you want. And then I'm going to, for this character, I, I feel like they would be... Hmm. I feel like they'd be a bit of a clerk, but not too good. Just like a decent start for them. Uh, personality wise, I think they're going to be um, greedy because they're a clerk and they're right by a major port. So that's something that they would uh, think a lot about. These are things that you'd think about while you're messing around. I think that they're going to be authoritative. They're the head of their house. And one more, I think they're going to be, I'm going to say they're going to be cynical. Other traits that we can add, there's a bunch of stuff. You got like uncouth, you got house customizer, which this gives you the option to actually select other houses when you make your own like when you start off the game, uh, which we can definitely check out here. I will add that down here. Uh, you can have dragon dreams. You can have all sorts of stuff, but I'm just going to leave it like this uh, for now because I don't want to. I don't want to break anything too hard. And then you get the option. Obviously, up here, if you have, see this achievement limit, if you make a custom character in game, I'm not going to be married or have any children, by the by. If you make a custom character in game, like say you're playing normal CK3, then you have all the way up to this 400 here this 400 limit, which maybe we can try and reach that real fast. I'll give her like a 17 steward, decent diplomacy. We'll give her a 10 everything and see how we do. Okay, so she's got average everything now, except for Marshall. We'll just increase this to here. Okay, so say you have this, you have achievements available because you're right under the 400 limit. If I go over by one, then achievements will be turned off. Uh, originally when the game came out, you could only get achievements in Iron Man mode, but they did change that. So uh, that is good to know, and it's very cool. So you can play as a custom ruler should you want. So I think this is good, and I'm just going to hit start here. Hit submit. So here we go. We're going to play as Lady Jenny of Redshore of House Redclaw. We're going to start. And now we get to, with the house customizer trait, we get to play as any house we want. I want to play as an extinct house, just as an example. So we have all sorts of options here. We have the north, 
We have House Amber, House Greenwood, House Frost, House Greystark, House Woodfart. And these are different ways that you can play as houses that no longer exist. Like Fisher, Haraway, Jessamine, Teague, Towers of Harrenhal. Or you can play as, you know, House Gardener, which is a house that you can actually restore, which I've explained in one of my videos. So for this one, I'm just going to hit House Frost. I want to play as their child. So here we go, we're in House Frost, for our foes, the bow for our friend's prayer. Interesting. And so there you go. Obviously, I, that took away my really interesting little modifier there, and we are an insignificant house because we're just some random dude or, you know, woman who exists here. But yeah, that is that is how you do it. That is how the custom house works. And then, you know, I could definitely reclaim the north for House Frost and retake our ancestral lands. They were the house that the uh, Starks defeated way 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 back when in the ages of the first men to be the lords of the north so they haven't been around in a long time it's pretty unlikely that they would still exist but it's totally something that you could role play and have a fun time doing although personally if i was going to do that i'd probably start up here up you know in with the wildlings i feel like that's more plausible to be a frost and then maybe uh become lord i forget what the empire title is called let's see here king beyond the wall if you can become king beyond the wall and then maybe take the wall and then move your way south that'd be pretty cool uh, as house frost that would be a fun little thing and then there's obviously all the other extinct houses or your own house that you can play around as but anyway this was just a little quick video that i wanted to make here to kind of explain how the system works and just give you some basic pointers and some basic locations that you can make your custom house for but that is going to be it for this one thank you guys so much for watching i'm soul this has been another agot video if you like what you saw maybe leave a like or a comment and maybe subscribe if you've been enjoying them as it helps me know that you like these videos and that you want me to keep making them but that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one.